Go ahead and turn on your tablets and your headlamps. <clears throat> All right, turn the lights off. Good. Today we want to talk about backing incidents, incidents that we've had at this site. I hit a, a steel device while I was watching pedestrians and um, equipment that was around me at the same time and focusing on probably more than one thing at one time other than everything that's going on around me. Okay, good. Anybody else? Backed into a vehicle when the... Uh, Sun was in my eyes in the rear view mirrors. I probably should have stopped and got out and looked, but I hit a beat. Okay, good. Who here can explain the process of performing a backing maneuver? When you get ready to back, you want to check your mirrors. You want to go into your 3R program, um, release your brakes. After you check your mirrors, put in camera monitor, put it reverse, check your mirrors. In your surroundings again, everything that's going on around you, wait three seconds and then proceed with your backing at an idle with your foot on the brake. Okay, good. What What is that process called? R factor. R factor. R factor. Good. What, what's another acronym for something we do when we're backing? If you're not 100% sure what's behind you, get out and look. Very good. Judge. Back up. Good. Good. All right, so. One is don't become complacent. Because that vehicle that hasn't been there for the last 15 years, today you decided to be there, <coughs> and you hit it, and I'm like the number one fault at that, because I just to back up and thinking it's clear, and it almost happened yesterday. Um, so let's say we go out and have an incident today, a backing incident. How's that going to affect us right here? Our matrix. The matrix? <laughs> Good. It's going to affect All our safety numbers, safety numbers, overtime, things like that. All right. Okay, so what's today going to look like when you're performing a backing procedure? What are you guys going to do? Slow and easy. Slow and easy? Get out and look. All right. Good. All right, let's roll. All right. In their minds, they know it's step one, step two. Step three, done. Before it was just a free for all. You know, different guys were doing different things. Uh, you couldn't tell what guys were doing because somebody would be on a whole different step. With the pre trips, I mean, it's helped reduce downtime. They're regimented, they know what to check, they're actually doing it, and when they find something, they write it up. There's more structure. Consistency. I mean, we, we have to keep pushing the bar. As long as we're consistent and as long as we, you know, we believe what we're preaching. <laughs> 